Bandwidth for MacBreak is brought to you by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Mac Break Dev. I'm here again with Keith Lang from Plask. Hey, Keith. Hi, Alex. And uh, we've got some more Quartz Composer fun to be had. Yeah, something I hope is kind of going to excite people visually. Well, we've got particles here, right? So yeah. these are these are so, and, and and this is all happening in real time. And, and so, uh, what are we? What what's special about these particles? These particles are frozen in time, and this is one of the things I wanted to to kind of share with people today. Right. That that anything in Quartz Composer, you can control the time of it, and that's kind of right. really cool. Yeah, so, so and, and, what, and we're using sound this time to control time, is that how this works? Yeah, as you can see when you make a noise, it, it jumps through in time, so it's kind of like this kind of matrix frozen time and when a sound, suddenly you're in a new instant. So uh, how does this work? What, what are we looking at here as far as the equation goes? Okay, so the, the first patch that people look at and uh, that we see is the audio input. So that mm -hmm. could be, you know... And that could be anything. It could be the internal mic, it could be a mic, it, it could be an external mic, it could be anything that, that, that pumps sound through uh, the, the uh, operating system, right? Yeah, and in fact, okay. it could be, it could be uh, a Wiimote accelerometer, so any kind of information. So, so this is just an input. It ha we're, happy, we, we're using audio, but it could be anything. Absolutely. Okay, great. Uh, then we smooth, we're smoothing it out a bit so we, it doesn't get too jerky. There's lots of little things going on and we want to just get rid of that. Okay. Uh, then we're amping it up with this math patch. So we're multiplying it by 100, make it, the, the result really nice and big. Right, and that's just something, and once again, because it's, it's real time, we can play with that. We can decide how, how big we want to make it. Absolutely, yep. Okay, great. You can just turn that up and down. And that's what we're seeing down here in this inspector, right? Yep, so if we have that patch selected, we can see in the inspector we're multiplying by 100. We've added some as well to, to get us going. Right. Uh, but we could really uh, say we want to crank that up. You can see that in real time, so you can get a really cool effect, wow. even just when playing around with it. Right. Great. And so now, now all of this stuff is just generating the particles that we see, right? Yep. So this is this little uh, set of patches here is generating this little image, which uh, is is the the base for all of these, and then they're being colored by this random kind of set of colors every time it spews out a, a bunch of these little new. things. And that's all it is. It's, it's a, this is actually a pretty simple Quartz Composer composition, isn't it? Yeah, the, the only other thing is uh, encapsulating this is uh, a 3D transformation which I'm spinning around. So you get this cool spin. And that's not something that you had to write as no, far no. as the uh, interpolation. That's just, if we go back to this uh, inspector here, so all we're doing here is uh, all you had to do is animate that the, the Y rotation. Yeah, so I'm using an interpolation here to mm -hmm. uh, move between 0 and 360 degrees and taking 32 seconds to do the spin. Right, so that just gives it that, that slow turn and then all of that sped up when you, when you, when you make a noise. It, it's actually time that's speeding up, so the spin right. is the same, but okay. it's kind of like the volcano is erupting. Right, okay, very, very good. And the, the best thing about this, of course, is that it's free. You can do all of this for free. Uh, Quartz Composer is, uh, it comes with a developer kit, which comes for free with Leopard. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something you can download. We're going to put this script up yep. um, so people can uh, check it out themselves. If you're wondering what Course Composer is, uh, definitely check out MacBreak Tech. There's a whole hour of it. And we're going to be doing some more introductory stuff with it as well. But we wanted to show you kind of what's possible uh, to get you off the ground. So uh, Keith, thank you so much. Thanks, Alex. And thank you for joining us here at MacBreak Dev.